Lord of the Rings. Let's go. So it says only legal. Which one of these cards go into Tron? None of them. This says only legal in alchemy, historic, and modern. Legacy, vintage, blah, 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 commander. So I'm just going to talk about them. Uh, yeah. See how cool they are. <laughs> I can't revive it. Can't revive them. Can't revive them. Cannot revive them for standard, unfortunately. It's not standard, no. Sorrow Man of many colors. Wow, gay. War, discard enchantment, or instant or sorcery card. Uh... I like these wards, by the way. But anyways, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, each opponent knows two cards. When one or more cards are milled this way... Okay, I can't do this with that music. Uh, one or more cards are milled this way. Exile target enchantment instant sorcery card with equal or less of mana value than the spell from an opponent's graveyard. Copy that exiled spell. Because I'm not paying this mana cost. Basically, a lot of text for a card that says... Uh, It's commander playable. All right, next. Sauron, the Dark Lord. Six mana, seven, six. I do love the flavor of this set though. This, this set is fucking sick, this is the flavor at least. Ward, sack legend artifact or, or creature. Which means it, all, <laughs> it almost has hexproof. It's kind of hard to target Sauron. Whenever a opponent has a spell, a mass orcs one. So that's like the mass mechanic in um, Ravnica, the with, with with zombies, the horde, zombie zombie horde, whatever it's called. Whenever an army you control does combat damage to a player, the ring tempts you. I do like the ring. By the way, that that sounds that sounds that sounds metal as hell. The ring tempts you. I just wish that the ring had drawback for tempting you. So, so the first time it tempts you, your ring bearer is legendary and it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So I guess you just choose a ring bearer. I guess you just choose the ring bearer, right? We, we, we do it. And this is, and this is whenever your ring bearer attacks, draw a card and discard a card. I mean, whatever, it's the looter. The third time it tempts you, whenever a ring bearer becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices out of combat. Kind of like, it becomes like a basilisk. Uh, and last chapter is whenever your ring bearer does combat damage to a player, you probably lose three life. I love the the concept of this. I just wish it did something cooler. Uh, I feel like, like I I feel like you should, you should like lose life and do stuff, right? Like you lose life, you draw a card. You lose life, and something happens. Uh, just because, like, to show that it wears on you or, you know, sucks your life essence or some, some, something. But. I love, the me I love the mechanic, but I do find it underwhelming lore-wise. So. Anyways. Then, it says, then Sauron says, whenever the ring tempts you, you discard, you discard your hand if you do draw four cards. Uh, my, the best thing about this card it, it, is it's not a vampire. So Baki will not donate this deck and make, and make you play it with Soren. That is the best thing about it. I will say, obviously, obviously, cool commander card. Um, I will no longer say cool, cool commander card because all these cards are cool, cool, for, cool for commander. Is this modern playable? This is not modern playable. Is this historic playable? It's not historic playable either. Alchemy, maybe? Maybe alchemy is our best bet for, the, for these cards. Um... But Commander Alchemy, I guess. I do you like it though? It's kind of, it, it is neat. It's probably, I, I don't think it's playable in fucking Alch in, in Alchemy. Who knows? We'll see. Commander. Sauron the Lidless Eye. 5 mana 4 4. There's an eye in the Dark Tower that does not sleep. Monk S. When Sauron the Lidless Eye enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature and controls until in turn, untap it against haste. So you threaten. 5 mana threaten. Creature control get plus two plus zero until end of turn. Each one lose two life. Eh, not too exciting. Whatever. It's the Brakdos card. I'm not a huge on Brakdos, anyways. Aragorn the Unifier, four mana for five five. All right. 
Whenever you cast a white spell, make it a 1-1 human. Whenever you cast a blue spell, scry 2. Whenever you cast a red spell, just see retard opponent. Whenever you cast a green spell, plus 1 plus 4, retard creature. I like this card. It just does stuff for free when you cast spells. It's like, hey, you're casting spells? Fair. Let's do stuff. Um, I'm, pretty sure, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are legal in alchemy. Alchemy historic, right? It's also a human, so maybe with Joda, do something. Uh, no, this is not good. This is not. This is not. This is not good enough for Niv. No, Niv does not find it. Really, I'm not this better than that card, Niv. All right, God Bard, Tom Bobadil. Five minute for four four. As as long as there are four or more lore counters among sagas you control. Tom has hexproof and indestructible. Okay, so if you got a lot, of, so you've told a lot of stories, he he, he can't die. Whenever the final chapter ability of a saga you control resolves, reveal cards on top of your library until you reveal a saga card. Put the card in the battlefield and the rest on the battle, bottom of the library in random order. Go to his once each turn. So he's telling you stories. He's telling you stories. Bobadil boodabudabudabudul. Uh, anyways, cool, cool and commander, probably nowhere else. I said I wouldn't say that, but that's busted. Uh, five, five minutes for four, four isn't really busted now. It, so you play this, it is nothing that comes in play. Um, it's four, four, so it's, it's very likely you have, you have a bunch of sagas with four more world counters. I mean, it's cool. It's fun. But yeah. Get up the white. Uh, five mana flash four five flash is huge. You may cast legendary spells and artifact spells as though they had flash. That's pretty cool. So planeswalkers count. You can cast, you can cast planeswalkers with flash now. Uh, if legend permanent, if legendary permanent or an artifact in the battle end of the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, causes a trigger ability to trigger. So that's like the Panamarcon. This 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 card is actually pretty good. This 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 one's playable. Just because it's flash and you can like you know. If we. Hold up kind of magic, if not, you can, you, can, you can flash it in, you flash it in a block. It's cool, it's fine, it's not broken. It's a, uh, but a flash harmonicon is, 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 it is much better than anything else we've seen so far. Uh, Storm of Saruman, six mana for enchantment with ward three. Uh, I do like enchantments having ward, that is nice. Whenever you cast your second spell, you turn, copy it, except the copy isn't legendary, you need two new, new targets for the copy. That's kind of cool. It doesn't care if you cast instant sorceries, you can cast creatures, you can do whatever. Uh, it's kind of like the Sunbirds thing, six mana, do something. Is it playable? Is it competitive? No, but it is fun. Uh, so, definitely something, something, something we can mess around with. Witch King of Angmar, five mana for five three, <clears throat> flying. Wraith Noble, <clears throat> good for your breach. It's actually not, it's actually not good for breach because he copies the second spell you cast, right? So like it's not even good with breach. Whenever one of your creatures deals combat damage to you, each opponent sacrifices a creature. They deal damage. They deal combat damage to you this turn. The ring tempts you. Discard a card, which King of Angmar gains interactable on a turn, tap it. Dress into Breach, you're right. Let's play this, play Dress, nice turn, play Breach. Beautiful. I mean, for seven mana, you can play this, then Dress. Dress twice. Uh, sure. I mean, not, not, this is not really, five minutes is a lot. Again, Commander. Hew that would. Five mana. Sacrifice any number of land. Lands. A real top base card of library where X is the number of lands to sacrifice this way. Choose any number of artifact and or land cards reveal this way. Put all non-land cards chosen this way into the battlefield. And put all land cards chosen this way on the battlefield tapped. And put the rest. This is sweet. You should, you should, you should go to nuts. I like this because like this is this is like a land payoff. Like okay, I'm ramping. I'm gonna chop them all up and get big some, some, some stupid. So that's fun. That card can win the game pretty, 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 pretty quickly for five, for five mana. Probably the best one I've seen so far. 
last march of the ints to isengard with doom we come with doom we come with doom we come nice uh this spell can be countered honestly every spell that costs six, eight, eight or more she should, should, should have this draw a card equal the greatest toughness among creatures you control then put in a creature card from your hand on, on, on the battlefield I don't like cards like this where you have to where you have to have something else going on. <laughs> like if someone like kills your creature and responds, you just I don't know, you lose. Plus eight mana. Uh it's good with the game if you resolve it. And you have a creature in play, which is a lot, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Ball of Gilgalad, two mana, scry two. Tap for one, whatever. Doesn't seem that great. Tap two put two counters on a creature control. That's pretty good. No, not bad. So then turn, target creature control, gains. So when this creature dies, draw two cards, then that creature, gain, then that creature fights. Wait. So then turn, target creature control, gains. When this creature dies, draw two cards. Then that creature fights up to one other target creature. Oh, so you kind of want to suicide a creature and something else, and draw, draw two cards. Sure. It's cheap enough to see play. I think so. There and back again. Five mana. A oh, Tortar creature can't block for as long as you control there and back again. The ring tempts you. I wish that I wish that can't attack or block. Anyways. Five mana, I wish I said that. It's okay. I tap two, switch light for a mountain card, put the battle tapped. Five mana to get a mountain. Impressive. Um chapter six. Chapter, chapter six. <laughs> chapter, if you're still alive, if you're still, if you're still kicking, create Smog, a legendary 6 6 red dragon creature with token of flying and haste. And this creature dies, create 14 treasure tokens. 14 for Bilbo and all his dwarf friends. That's kind of cool. Again, super sweet lore wise, but yeah. Shadow of the enemy, six mana sorcery. Exile all creature cards from target player's graveyard. You may cast spells from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. You have to pay, but you have to pay the mana for it. And no. It should, it should be, at the very least, be instant. Born upon a wind. Two mana instant. You may cast spells this turn as though they had flash. Draw a card. This card's cool. I, love, I like that card. Uh, I feel like it's a little worse than Quicken. Quicken. Did this for one mana. Only is the sorceries. Uh, but that's still massive one mana. Like it basically makes your Wrath of God five mana, but give a flash. I wish I would, I think I think I think this is fine for one mana. Two mana, two mana is a bit much, but still fun to play with. What does this one do? Last worldly alliance, four mana enchantment. Tap for one, two, search target for legend creature card, reveal, put your hand. So just two to twice. Uh, creature control again, don't strike them to a turn, the ring tempts you. It's slow, it is card advantage. It draws it basically two or two twice though. Maybe good to like uh, get this or something like that. Probably not, but you know. Trying to think, trying to think something. Forge new, three mana, enchantment. When Forge new enters the battlefield, return tar equipment cards from graveyard to the battlefield. Alright. Uh, as long as it's your turn, you may activate equipment equip abilities anytime you can cast instant. You may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost. The first equip ability you get. All right, this is this one we have. This is this one we've seen so far. That's really good. So Remy's equipment makes equip cost uh, zero, and he, and you can equip and speed. Pretty cool for things like you know big big equipments, even something like Vorpal Sword. Vorpal Sword. It's called is it, is it Vorpal Sword? Let's see. Which kills them basically. If it hits them. Oh no, Vorbus one doesn't work because it's, it's a triggered ability. Never mind. Does does work, does work, does work with hammer though. Bill Fernie, swindler, <laughs> two mana two one. Whenever this one becomes blocked. Choose one, make a target token. Target opponent, gains control of, target opponent gains control of target a horse you control. If they do, remove this from the game or combat and make three treasure tokens. <laughs> All right, that's like, that's the pony thing. Golem, scheming guide. 
Halfling Horror. Uh, two mana, two one. Whenever Golem attacks, look at the top of your library. Put back in order. And then choose land or non land. An opponent guesses whether the top card of your library is the chosen kind. Reveal that card. If they guessed right, remove Golem from combat. Otherwise, you draw a card and Golem can't block this turn. That's fun. Here's, here's what I would do I take both cards, shuffle them blind lanes, be like uh, land or whatever. Or if they say one well, every time. But the thing is, like, they, they get to choose, so. This is, this is a, a, a nice bob, though. It's also, also two mana. It can, it's, def, it's definitely playable. Display of power. The spell can't be copied. This is something new we're seeing. Spells can't be copied. Copy the number of target instant and or sorcery spells. You may choose new, new targets for the copies. That's pretty cool for like a storm card or, you know, if you're just stack, you just copy all, all the spells. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Really fun. Double the storm. Yeah. Eladriel, gift giver. Five minutes for a four four. Whenever this thing attacks for ETBs, put a counter on another creature, make a food token, or make a treasure token. I think this card sucks. Five mana. Five mana comes into play and like make a treasure and pass. Like, I don't know. I compare this to, to like Primeval Titan or something or something. But kinda sucks that she's that weak. Frodo. Big D hero. Two mana two two. Whenever Frodo enters battlefield or attacks, he may attach. Try to put me in control with me by two or less to Frodo. So no hammer. Just swords and stuff. As long as you turn, prevent all damage that we dealt to Frodo. That's a good card. Pretty good. Um he pick up any sword or anything like that. Uh, no hammer. And he can't die in your turn. This card's pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. The Bath Song. Four mana enchantment. Uh, draw two, discard one. For type one and two. Type, type three. Tough any number of target cards from your Gravenge Library at blue blue. I mean, no. Slow. It's fun though. Rituals in blue seem interesting. Sackville Baggins. Three mana, two, three, flash, menace. Uh oh, flash. When Baggins enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from Prince Graveyard. That was put there from the battlefield's turn. Then create X tokens, or X to the, X charge tokens, or X to the card's power. That's pretty good. Fine, it's not crazy, but. It's playable. Kinda. Not really. Fine. <laughs> uh, these cards are, again, cool lore wise, but there's a, I think there's, there's gonna be like three or four or five, maybe, maybe five that are like really good. Uh, Mariah, Mora, Mora, I mean, Marauders. Two mana, one, one, double strike. When a Goblin Orc control deals coming after a player, I just have library, you can play the card this turn. Mm. Get two of them if it hits, but. More. Anyways. Legolas, Master Archer. 3 mana, 1 4. Reach. This is, this is Ragavan at home. Ragavan at home. This is Ragavan at home. 3 mana, 1 4. Reach. Whenever Legolas. So whenever he has a spell that targets Legolas, put a counter on, on Legolas. Whenever he has a spell that targets a creature you don't control, Legolas will damage equal to his power up to one target creature. I mean, it's kind of cool if you build around it, but. But you have to like really build around them, but yeah. Banghorn, Tree Shepherd, it's a Tree Folk! Here we go, baby. Seven mana, 410. Tree Folk, you control have Vigilance. Whenever one or more trees you control attacks, add twice that much green mana. Add twice twice that much broccoli. You don't lose, you don't lose unspent green mana as phases end. I am an Ent. Banghorn is my name, and according to some, Tree Beard others make it. That's cool. That's a cool card. Uh, Ro Mar <coughs> Marshall of Rohan, four mana, four four haste. I mean, that's that's good so far. Whenever one or more creature, whenever one or other, more other creature, whenever one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there's digital combat phase. Hmm. That's 
pretty decent with like oven and stuff. Like if you avoid these sacrifice creatures, you can probably kill somebody. I'm gonna turn with that. Again, get, get a build around it. Call of the Ring. Two man enchantment and begin your upkeep. The ring tempts you. This is like a tempting. Or never again. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you need to pay two life if you do draw a card. This seems okay. How do you so how do you uh how do you choose a ring bearer? I guess I guess when the ring tempts you once, you get to choose a ring bearer. The, the, the first time it attempts you, and the second time, blah, 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 you, you play to repick. Saruman the White. War 2. 5 mana. Whenever you cast your second Sully's turn, a mass orcs 2. Yeah. Yeah, so when the ring tempts you, you choose your ring bear. Got it. Gandalf White Rider. 4 mana for 3 3 Vigilance. Whenever you cast a spell, you took a plus 1 on the turn, scry 1. Gandalf, whenever Gandalf dies, you can put it in his, in his owner's library from the top. Yeah. Boromir, Warden of the Tower. 3 mana, 3 3. Vigilance, whenever an opponent casts a spell. If no one's meant to cast it, count that spell. That's good. Also a human and a soldier. So you can kill Kuntum. Sacrifice Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Fusion control, get intractable. That card's really good. <laughs> okay, so it's, first, first of all, it's 3 mana, 3 3. Um. You sacrifice it to, to give things indestructible. The ring tempts you as well. I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then also, it's also a hate bear. So your opponent's like passing spells for free. Counters it. But at the very least, it's three mana three three that you can sacrifice to give all your, all your creatures indestructible. That card, that card, that card is good. I'm not sure what this card says. The House of Healing. Tap on tap. Whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure there's some. I'm sure. I'm sure there's, there's some sort of combo with this. He's gonna tap it on tap two other target legendary creatures, and you can probably do something stupid with it. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm sure, there's infinite combo. Mirror box. Sauron. This is the third Sauron. The Necromancer. Five mana. After horror. Four for menace. When Sauron attacks, exile target creature card from your graveyard. Create a tap attacking tokens copy of that card. Hit the three three black wraith. Again, cool card, but you know, worth worse than shielded and stuff. Fires of Mount Doom, three mana. Uh, enchantment. When fires of Mount Doom ETBs, it's two damage to our creature. Opponent controls. Destroy all, all equipment attached to that creature. All right, so three mana. For a shock. If you the top card of your library, you need to play that card this turn. When you play a card this turn, Fires of Mount Doom is two damage to each. Player. It's pretty good. Nice three mana to bolt something and kill equipment. And then later you can it's card advantage and burn. Uh, to give you reach. Even if you play a land, it burns them. Why is this a rare? Trailblazers boots. Is it rare? Okay. There. Delighted Halfling. 1 2 for 1 mana. Add close mana. Broken. I don't mean to be color. This man only casts a legendary spell. This spell can be countered. That's pretty good. Pretty good. This is it blockable? Yes, but Trailblazer's Boots is already a card. It exists. It's not a rare, but whatever. Book of. Motherbull. Motherbull? Mass orcs, mass orcs, mass orcs. Creature control, get menace. Oh, this is, this, so this is basically a uh, history of Benalia. Orcish Bowmasters, two mana flash, one one. When this thing ETBs, and whenever an opponent draws a card, so the first one they draw each turn, is one damage to a target target, and then a mass one. That's good. That's a very good, that is a very good card for two mana. Very, very good card. Uh, Flash, Wizard, Gandalf. Four mana. You may cast Sorcery Spells with Dead Flash. That's kind of fun. Sorcery with Flash. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Gandalf, Friend of the Shire, as Ring Bear, draw a card. That's cool. It's fun. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. One mana for one, two. Oh my god, Legendary Creature. Pay two mana. Frodo becomes a citizen. 
If his citizen becomes a halfling scout with base power 2-3, he gets lifelink. Cool. You can play black, black, black. <clears throat> if it's a scout, it becomes a halfling rogue with, with whenever this creature does common damage to a player, that player loses the game. If the ring has tempted you four more times this game, otherwise, the ring tempts you. That's a cool card. This thing just one shots people. <laughs> That's... I don't, I don't, I don't understand the, the lore fully, but why photo killing things? But you know, here we are. Oops. Oh no. Frodo's ending the game. Gribot. Tale of. Sorry, chat. I don't know if these lore ling ling. Well, the ring names five mana. First, you control against as long as you control. As long as you control this, sure. We'll try to creature for gifts to battlefield. Reanimate. That's pretty good. A future creature control against each king life like yeah, this, this seems fine. It's like a delayed re reanimate, but it seems cool in draft. Happy pr eggplant pride. Happy eggplant pride. Ten new veal veal. That's what I said. Right. Council's Liberation. Two mana, draw a card. Whenever you scry, you control an island, you may exile this thing. In the graveyard, if you do, draw a card. That's cool. It's like a thing twice that's free when you cast it on the backside. You're scrying. It's pretty good, actually. I like that card. If you mill it, and then you, like, you scry with like a preordain or, or consider, you draw a card. This card's good. I like it. I like this one. It's kind of fun. It's not broken, but it's good. Witch King, Bear, Bringer of Ruin. Six mana for 5-3 flying. 5-3 just is just very bad. 3 is a toughness for big creatures is not good. Every Witch King attacks, defending players, suffers a creature with the least power more creature they control. Sure. I'll say not playable though. Six mana for 5-3 for five is pretty rough. Rising of the Day. Creature control have haste. Pretty good. Legend creature control get, get, get plus 1, plus 0. Sure. Playable, sure. Is it broken or anything? No. Quick beam, upstart, int. Six mana for five, six, int. Whenever this thing attacks or you to bees, I took future, get plus two, two, and triple in turn. Broken. It's pretty cool for, again, limited, I think. Long list of ints. This is good. This is good. This is good with, with, uh, Bombadil. Chapter one through six. Note a creature type that is has it been noted for for long list of ints. When you cast your next creature spell of that type this turn, that creature gains enters the counter on it. There's no counter on it, sure. I mean I don't know. Maybe like hardened scales. Not cool though. Kind of funny. Uh Foray of Orcs, MS2, when you do Foray of Orcs X damage trait creature. Can you draft this set? This is limited, 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 all limited. You cannot pass. I always thought it, I always thought it was you shall not pass. Anyways, destroy our creature that blocked or is blocked by legend creature this turn. Pretty cool. Is it, is it playable? It's a draft. Treason of Isengard. Put up to one target instant sorcery card from a graveyard to your library. Mass two orcs, limited. It's you cannot pass in the books. Got it. Gone, Gron, the Great Breaker. We're going for 5-5. Five, five. As long as you tr trample, as long as you, as long as you turn, you can, you can turn an army. Grand, it's not for creature. Gotcha. Your vehicle, limited. Limited. Mary Dog, Brandy, Brandy Buck. Two men who do, whenever one has the control attacks. Player. It's fine. It's fine. Purin. Three mana, two, three. Whenever one more tokens will be created under control, make more food. Cover three foods, draw a card. Oh my god, food's coming back. Eldraine. I'm having Eldraine nightmares. 
with ETBs, a mass two orcs, we need to do on a turn, you can talk to another creature. So you, you you mass, you steal, you threaten. That's pretty good. That's good for three mana. You get to mass and threaten. So that, that's 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 a good card. March the Black Gate. Um we'll march the black gate, ETBs, whenever an army control attacks, a mass orc one. Interesting. I'm not sure how good this is. Probably fine limited. That's probably it though. Only only limited. This book costs Arwen's Gift. This book costs one as a cast if you control two of legendary creatures. Scry two, then draw two cards. And sorcery speed? Gross. Uh, no, thank you. Reprieve. Return our spell to its hand. Draw a card. Uh, one of the, probably one of the top five best spells in this fucking in this whole set. This card's really good. Very very good card. Uh, Samwise the Stouthearted. Two minute two one flash. When Samwise ETBs, choose one target permanent card in your graveyard. I was put there for the battle this turn. Bring it back. Bring it tempts you. I'm um, not. It seems okay. Because of the flash. It's fine. Four minus three, three. Uh, limited. 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 Seems already. Ulu font. Whenever Ulu font attacks in the future, you get you plus equals limited. Uh, mount cycling. Limited, limited. My food, limited. Limited. Golem the Potter leaves battlefield during tempts you. Sacrifice a creature, return Golem from Gear with about your hand. I can only go sorcery. Mm. I mean, anything that, that, re that recurs is, is always pretty good in, in a way. Yeah. Card seems, this, this card seems good. Cast into the fire. There's one damage to each of two target creatures. Exile target artifact. I mean, that's good. Very good card. Let's shatter. Uh, or it pings two two small things. Like it. Also exiles, which is which is big. Pippin's bravery. You may sacrifice a food. So if you eat, you could get plus plus four. Otherwise, it gets plus plus two. Cool. Ince Fury limited. Limited. Remember this thing. Limited. 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 Card opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from the player to score the card. Limited. Alright, China, is, but it's all limited. Mm -mm -mm. These are all. We get the points limited. Uh, this is cost cost to start creature. This card's good. So, does the, the, the dispute? Star creature, you draw two cards. If it's legendary, you draw three. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Swarming of Moria. Make a, make, make, make a terrorist token. A mass works. Limited. Star creature control. So it's max proof. It's worse than the one, the, one, the one drop ones. This is good. Limited. It's good for limited. People go nuts about this card with Dogside Extortionist. I think it's fine. I mean, it's four mana. Like, whatever. I know, like, whenever you create a surface token, you just won't lose one life. Seems good with, like, treasure tokens, but... Doesn't seem, doesn't seem broken or anything. Seems fine. But cost for mana. Limited. Limited. That's pretty good. So it's just a basic land and then make it food. Mushroom watchdogs. Alright. It's limited. All the Nazgul. How much more do we have? Jesus Christ. All right, I'm gonna stop here, chat. I have to get some sleep anyways for, uh, for tomorrow. For Dallas, we find tomorrow. Best card so far. The ones that are like, we'll see competitive play. Non-commander competitive play. 
All right. Uh, maybe Gandalf the White. Meh. Not, 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 not high on it. Um, Forge New. Definitely. Definitely Forge New. Golem Skimming Guide. If you count Alchemy, probably. Uh, Frodo for sure. So Frodo for sure. Um, Boromir is also very good. So white cards, man. Boromir, Frodo, Gan Forge New, Gandalf, eh, Golem. Uh, Fires Mount Doom could be a good sideboard card. Frodo Thorns Bane is also pretty good. <laughs> Another white card. Orgish Bowmaster is also very, very good. Light Halfling is good. Is competitive in older formats. Uh, Reprieve, obviously very good. Older formats as well. This will, this will be playable. Basically just remand with, up with but better. Like six, we're up to six. Yeah. All those cards. I would say are can, can could be seen in a two one in a two one deck.